Pilots, Drain Man here, and today I have got a very special video. Let's just say you're out with your buds, you're flying at a hot spot, you go for that sick trick, and you swoopy swoopy right up into a construction lift. Boom. Well, now your DJI digital FPV system camera looks like that. Well, you're out of luck because all those cameras are out of stock or if you're just dying to buy one you can put it on back order because ain't none available well in today's video i'm going to introduce to you run cams officially licensed dji digital system camera has finally been released and we're going to check it out let's go Pilot. So why is this so cool? Well, it's cool because up until now, the only company that was able to make DJI stuff other than DJI was Cadix. And Cadix is a great company and we have the DJI Air Unit Lite, which was actually called the Cadix Vista for a very long time, but it's ideally not. It's made by DJI. So is their air units and so is their cameras. But then Cadix came out with their own camera. DJI would ship the air unit or ship the air unit light and Cadix would put their camera on it, package it up and ship it out. Well, what about all these other large companies who make very good cameras? Runcam, for example. In the analog world, Runcam is one of the top camera manufacturers. They did their thing, and I've had some very nice analog quads with some awesome Runcam cameras on them, but now in this digital world, I don't fly analog. I mean, maybe here and there, but for the most part, I'm flying digital. Well, today is the day that it all changes. So very recently, they have dropped this camera. Well, on paper, the Runcam Phoenix HD at 60 frames per second doesn't sound as good as the DJI camera at double with 120 frames per second. So because my quad is down and I want to give this a shot, because things on paper aren't always what they seem to be. So what I want to do is we're going to pull this guy out. We're going to slap in the run cam and we're going to find out for real, not on paper, is this camera something you should buy? And there's one last thing I should touch on. This camera right now is $46.99. The DJI cameras, the Cadex Air Unit cameras are going for $60. All right, so let's see what it looks like if I open the box. Inside, we've got our manual. There is that beautiful camera. Look at that. It comes in black. Very nice. And it is attached to the DJI Lite. That is the Lite Air Unit. And something very cool that I want to show you is when you purchase this, it does come with a different antenna. Look at this antenna here. This is the Run Cam Link antenna. It goes on the DJI Air Unit Light, which is very cool because it's just like any other DJI Air Unit Light where you just have one antenna, you open this up, you clip it in, and you're good to go. It's a UFL connection antenna, and it's going to look very, very awesome. I'm excited to build this out and give it a shot. Look at our camera. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. So here's the plan. I'm going to go ahead and install this right here on my Moon Goat, which currently has a broken camera. And then I want to take it out to the field and find out. Does it fly just as good? Can I see just as good? How's my range? How's my video? Am I seeing breakup? Is there a difference between 120 frames per second versus 60 frames per second? Because on paper, that is a large difference. So what we're going to do is we're going to wire this up. I'm going to get it in the quad. We're going to head out to the field and we're going to compare the two. Let's go.
guys, I am back from the field. What a day, had a blast. I have flown my Phoenix camera and I have also flown my DJI camera. The price difference here, one is $46 run cam and the other one is $60 DJI. Now on paper, we're talking 120 versus 60, but you got to see the footage side by side. Was it really that much of a difference? No. And if you are buying the entire setup, you're buying the DJI air unit light, you are looking at 180 bucks, 175 bucks. It's up there. And this guy right now is $154. It is called the Phoenix Link or the Run Cam Link Phoenix HD. And that is the entire kit. It comes with the air unit light, it comes with the camera ready to go with their own custom antenna and that guy is cheaper and available and when I flew it I don't think I saw a difference. Did you see a difference? I'm curious. Jump down in the comments, let me know. If you're interested in buying one, check it out for yourself because me, I'm impressed. I think it's very cool that DJI is now licensing out this stuff to go to other manufacturers. Let them compete. Let them push the bar. Let them battle on price so that way we're not cornered to a number and that's what we got to buy. Come on, pilots. Let's do this. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one.